as civil engineers or planners or architects we have to know this type of drawings like how to draw or how to do these drawings if you are working as a construction engineer or a site engineer then also you have to know how to draw this or how to read these drawings or suppose you are working as a design engineer or a planner then again we have to know how to do these drawings and you can say for architects or planners these are the basic drawings that you have to know so guys to do this type of drawings or you can say any type of drawing if you want to do you have to use the software autocad because autocad is by far the best drawing and drafting software in the industry hello and welcome guys this is costa here let us start with the basics of autocad guys rather discussing like how to do things in autocad let me show you what are the things that will be covering up in this course because uh, like this use of this draw and modify toolbars or this annotation text drafting and layers these are actually the basics before starting with the autocad planning i'm not wasting time explaining this draw and modify toolbars because in youtube you will find lot of videos on that but apart from that i'll be sharing some practical examples that are actually necessary in the field of civil engineering architecture or planner the drawings which are a must for you guys so we'll start with the basics of autocad like absolute relative and polar coordinate system and their uses in autocad like we can draw this type of shapes or drawings with the help of coordinate system then we'll start with units limits function keys these are discussed in the course videos then we have the draw and modify toolbars so i won't waste much of your time explaining this draw and modify toolbars because you'll find lot of videos n number of videos there in youtube explaining this and i have already discussed this draw and modify toolbars in the course details or in the course curriculum you can see after completion of the draw and modify toolbars we'll practice this basic exercises these are few basic exercises to practice this draw and modify toolbars commands like array layers and each and every other commands as well then we'll start with basic civil engineering drawing like uh, drawing the cross section of a load bearing wall like this then we'll move with preparing the stairs plan of a stairs section of a stairs different types of stair patterns how to draw them we'll learn this in detail then we have few miscellaneous exercises like we'll start with the basic floor plans then we have beam and column cross sectional details or the detailed drawing and drafting the safety tank details water storage tank this is a underground water storage tank as you can see the inlet and outlet pipes over here and this is the ground level so this portion is below the ground level will be uh like learning this type of drawings culvert drawing also will learn this is a full paneled door the detailing of a door this is a i section drawing then let us move to the plans we'll start with plans in the syllabus also we can find out like these are the basic commands after finishing with the basic commands dimensions layers drafting how to write text we'll start with the preparation of own plan so we'll cover up how to draw plans in a given area we'll prepare the elevation section beam and column details foundation and footing then we'll we have some commands like block w block tool palette design centers wherein you can find some uh, like ready made blocks available and then we'll finish with the plotting so let us show you some exercises like 
what are the end products after you start with AutoCAD or after you complete this AutoCAD course. So this type of plannings, this will be covered, how to draw these plans, will be covering in this course details. Plan elevation section, you can say. Then let us move to a live project. So this is a live project. This is uh, details of a beam and column as you can see. And over here, if I zoom in this portion, we will get the details of the slab as well. 125 mm thickness slab. Beam size, you can see 300 into 500 mm beam size. Then we can see the detailing of the beam. These are the roof beams. These are the sectional details of a beam like this. You have to draw or you have to practice AutoCAD. I'll move to the next drawing. Let's say this is a sanction plan. This is the proposed side. You can say these are the different floor plans. You have to create this type of elevation and section for a sanction plan. So we'll be covering up each and every details that are being shown over here. Like you can see the beam details or the beam layout. And over here, you'll be able to find the schedule of the beams. Let us move to the next drawing wherein we'll be able to or we'll be learning the foundation design foundation or footing drawing will be seen then how to create the like tie beams or you can say these are the pile caps how to create those this is the section and planning of our stairs these are the plans and you can see over here, these are the different detailed sections of the stairs. Guys, this is also a live project wherein you can see different floor plans. This, this is the ground floor plan. We have the first floor plan then, first floor, second floor. Like in this plan, you will be able to find out uh, all the floors are somehow similar. So there are seven different floors you can see. These are the floor plans. You have to create this type of floor plans, guys. So guys, uh, these are the different floor plans as you can see over here. And below, you will be able to find out the elevations as well. Let me zoom out and show you. So this is the elevation view. So guys, you also have to learn how to draw this type of elevation views. Steel drafting can also be done very easily with the help of AutoCAD. So over here you can see a steel drafted drawing. So this is the steel drafted drawing you can say. Like this, you have to create steel drawings. This uh, detail sheets are already like I'll be providing you with the course. This type of uh, steel structure drawing and drafting will also be taught like within the course. Guys, I hope I'm able to give you a clear idea about what the course will be consisting of. So basically we'll cover up with the live projects. That is because after the completion of the course, you guys become job ready once you appear for an interview. So this live projects, which I'll be sharing with you, if you practice this live projects and create a project report of your own, and whenever you go to an interview purpose, you can show that live project to the interviewer. So that will always give you an added advantage over other candidates, because you know this type of live projects, and you have proof of that. This type of live projects will also be covered. Like you can see over here, uh, this is a column layout of an auditorium. You'll find the column schedule over here. So we'll uh, like make you learn each and every single step how to draw this type of detail sheets. Like over here, you can see the foundation or footing details of an isolated footing. This is the combine, combined footing, you can say. Uh, these are the plan views of those footings and like this is the working drawing of this project this is the footing layout 
guys will find a lot of other institutes wherein they will be only covering with the uh, basic draw and modify toolbars but my motto is completely different i always uh, believe like if you will be learning something from this course session that will be helpful for you to get job or sometimes you can work as a freelancer as well after the completion of this course that is because i have covered each and every aspect from civil engineers point of view or for an architect or a planner so if you are happy with the entire course curriculum and if you feel that it will meet the requirements then you can join with our premium course we'll be providing you with an app link we have country's first app which has been supported by both mobile and pc versions thank you very much guys for attending this session i hope we'll have a great learning together